Hey guys, the objective of this video is just to introduce the, um, the process of beam design. So the way it works is that we're going to be looking at four different cases, okay? So we have beam along grid line one like this, right? So we have one, two, three different spans. Now within this, there's going to be a bending moment diagram. And the bending moment diagram looks something like this. This will be given, okay? So what this plots is four different load combinations. It's the gravity load and the live load. We've got the gravity load and the live load at a different factor. The gravity load, live load, and earthquake loading at loading one and two. Okay, so that this diagram is what we call a um, bending moment. It, it's called an envelope because we're going to go and make it into an envelope, and you'll see what that means in the later videos. But essentially, this is the bending moment diagram across our structure. So you can see at 8, 18, and 26, so 0, 8, 18, and 26, 0, 8, 18, and 26. So those are the points along our beam, different grid lines. So you can see at the, all the supports, we have hogging moments up here of hogging moments. And at the mid span, we have the maximum sagging moments. Now, the way the beam philosophy works when it comes to design, what we do is, is we're going to be looking, so let's talk about sagging first. So we're going to be designing for a max sagging value and a minimum sagging value. So the max sagging value, the design moment comes straight from this envelope. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the maximum so saggings down here. We're going to be looking at the maximum sagging values and we're going to be looking at how much reinforcing we need to put to handle these values down here. But you can see, say, um, close to the support, say over there, We've only got a little bit of sagging. So we're going to have to have huge bars here. But over here, we don't have to have such big bars. So we need to um, look at the minimum sagging. Now, the minimum sagging comes straight from the code. It's the exact same for the hogging case. So at the hogging, at the supports, you can see we have quite large bending moments. So we need to design for these bending moments straight off the envelope. But then you can see as we move away from the support, say over here, we still have hogging moments, but they're much smaller than the ones up here. So we're going to have to have a lot of steel to um, to handle all this moment. But